Hey gang, welcome back. It is Camp Cowboy, and today I want to talk to you about Iron Throne, and my honest opinion, three days into it. So, three days into the unbiased opinion, this game is a lot. There's a lot going on, but honestly, it is a lot of fun, and I'm truly enjoying it. Why do I say it's a lot? Well, it's a lot because there is so many events going on in this game. So here, let's go ahead and take a look at the Dimensional Void. Within the Dimensional Void, we have the Battlefield. Battlefield, there has Team Deathmatch, which is 20 versus 20. Then there's also Battle Royale, which is pretty much a survival. It's like Fortnite. So, you know, your map gets smaller and you're fighting your way through. Now, everyone's on the same level here, so it's all strategy-based. Amazing rewards. There's also the Tournament. So, I don't even know what this is. I haven't done this, but this looks like it's a tournament for alliances. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I can't really speak on this too much because I haven't done it yet. But once my alliance does it, we'll definitely be talking about it a lot. Now, furthermore, there's the Golden Moon. Um, I haven't done this event either, but I hear that the rewards are absolutely amazing from this. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and get into that, you know, soon. And I'll let you know what my thoughts are on that as well. Then we also have the Town Hall. Town Hall is like a, a for, you know, third person kind of quest mode area. It's kind of like World of Warcraft. That is a lot of fun. And the faster you can get through all of the epic quests, the better the rewards. And then you would only have to focus on daily quests just to get some uh, great rewards for your castle as well as some extra benefits from that. So I highly recommend that, you know, you get into the town mode. Like, it, it's a lot of fun. Then there's Inferno Age. I don't even know what that is. I, I, I'm only 72 hours in, so there's only so much I can possibly do, especially working multiple jobs. Um, then there's the Event Center. And the event center has a whole bunch of different quests that it wants you to do in order to get some free rewards. So like, this is gold rush all right so this is a quest based on spending a lot of money so we're we're working our way up on that um there's battlefield which just shows you all the different events so there's the story mode which is our dimensional battles that i've been showing you a lot as well and there's also an arena within that so there's a lot going on in there too um there's also defiled strongholds which we can rally right now if cap rallies it I posted cord. Thank you. Did you lose? Oh, I got owned. Everybody teamed up on me because oh. I got super aggressive early. <laughs> Yikes, bud. All right, so... yeah, Maybe my teammate wasn't... Uh, oh. I, if only my game would load up quicker. Uh, but yeah, besides that, there's... <laughs> we can do rallies right here. I mean, this isn't really an event. This is just for amazing rewards. It costs a lot of AP to do, though, but it's very much so worth it. Um, oops, I don't know how to do math that well. But anyway, besides this, you know, there's also many events that we have going constantly. So You can also just hit OK. It automatically brings you to that window, by the way. OK Mac, oh, fills it up, and I didn't want to fill it up. No, it just suggests it to fill it up. You can move the uh, bar. Yeah. Um. In addition to that, we also have three other events so there's a solo event a super inferno event so it tells you the, and then there's an alliance event and they tell you what the different topics are and they have very short timers so they it just more ways to get free rewards like there are so many ways to get free rewards like you click on your dragon every three hours and you get free gold there's a, there's the golden age over here i don't even know what that is like I, there's too much stuff to read into oh and now I can build more stuff. I didn't even know that I could do that. Like, I, I, this game is a lot. Now, if you're worried about this game being too much, let me reassure you. So I've talked to the developers and I asked them, I said, hey, I've been told that this game is a lot. I'm noticing that too myself. They said, honestly, try everything out. Take your time, try everything out. You know, only put in as much time to this game as you want to put into it. You know, you get out what you put in. The more you put in, the more you'll get out. Like I got friends who are on this game non-stop, and their growth rate compared to me, without spending as much as me, is just absolutely phenomenal. 
So I'm ex extremely excited for that, and, you know, proud of them. But, you know, I don't have the time of the day to play the game as much as they do. So he said, try everything out. Find one or two events that you enjoy and do them. Find the events that you enjoy doing and play them often. So that's what my goal is. Once I find the events I enjoy, I like, I really like the Battle Royale. That's pretty much the only event I've been able to do. But, you know, I'm going to try more events. And, you know, you just try it out. Now, find an alliance who also plays the same events as you and play those events with them. There's like 15 different events in this game. Uh, they're pretty similar to Guns of Gloria, you know, if you're looking for that kind of information. Um, there are, there's a KVK. Um, I don't know how to do that, but hey, I'm just, just we're, I'm learning the game and I'm telling you everything I learn as I play it. If you want into this game, I have a link that you can download the game with. Um, it enters you into a play test where, you know, they gives you, um, you pretty much, like, you play the game, you give your feedback to the developers, and they want to improve it. So I wanted something to be able to, you know, help give my feedback to the game. And that's what I'm able to do. So it to you, you know, it just looks like you're just normal link to download the game. So follow that. Um, and trust me, it will be worth your while. So that's my honest review um, so far. Um, just, you know, it's a lot. Um, I can't really speak too much on the rest of the stuff. I'm still trying to figure out the game myself. Um, everything seems pretty similar to the rest of the MMO games that I've played before in the past. Um, crafting, you know, everything is based around your heroes. I like this. Uh, makes everything, you know, everything is straightforward. There's no, nothing is hidden about this. Bars will sing so about you have bars heroes, you have different types of heroes for what they do. Um, you can put in runes that match up with their traits. You can also appoint them based on that. Um, and then you can have specific gear that also relates to your, um, to your hero. So, I mean, there's a lot going on, so that's why I'm not like able to get fully into all the information. However, everything is straightforward. There's nothing that they're trying to hide from you, and I really appreciate that. So, ladies and gentlemen... I don't want to take too much time. I'm going to keep building up on my honest review. So this is just going to be part one. Um, I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions or want to download the game, don't hesitate to ask me a question. I have so many different ways that I, you can reach out to me on Discord. It's probably the best. Um, the, the link is in the description of this video. And as well as we have Twitter and Line. So thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy.